Now that I've introduced you to both the thesis options and design options panels, I want to introduce you to the last major control element within thesis, and that is the in post editing screen. And to access that, we can go to uh, any of the posts on our homepage here, and we'll, we'll edit one. And basically, this is just the normal WordPress post editor that you're used to, except that thesis adds a few enhancements to it that you're really going to like. The first additional option that Thesis adds to your post editor is the SEO details and additional style box. And this has a couple of handy options here. The first of which is the custom title tag, which allows you to change on each page of your site um, the title tag text that appears on that page. And this may not seem all that significant, but the title tag is not only the most important aspect of SEO on any page of any site anywhere, but it's also um, the blue text that appears like in Google or in Yahoo or any of these search engines when you search for a particular topic. And so it's powerful to be able to control this, of course, and then you've got some text underneath that, and that text is actually drawn from the meta description field, which... Uh, is probably not on every page of your site right now, in all honesty. Uh, very few people keep up with this the way that they should, and that's probably because it's not accessible enough um, in other themes and has never really been accessible enough until now. Thesis gives you this option where it makes sense on the page where you edit that page's properties, and uh, it's really easy to add, and this will help you, um, you know, the accessibility of this element alone is going to help you to um, further optimize your site and to take advantage of all the optimization opportunities that are available to you on each page. All right, and so moving right along, you got meta keywords, CSS class. You can add special classes to, to individual pages of your site if you really want to go overboard with the styling. Uh, I'd consider that kind of an advanced feature, but interesting nonetheless and useful. Uh, another control box that thesis adds to your in post editor is the post image and thumbnail box which um, is a really nice way for you to um, be a, a dynamic publisher and what I mean by that and we'll take a look at that back at the home page um, I've supplied a post image here and I supplied thumbnails to these these uh, posts that display two across are called teasers and you have tons of control over the way these display but, you know, it's a pretty interesting format to be able to see, you know, these images. Um, these are actually thumbnail images. And then you've got the post image up here. And just adding that, you know, visually, this page is more appealing as you scroll. And, of course, you can uh, get really creative with things like the thumbnails and whatnot. Um, this is just, you know, I think the, the post images, the thumbnails, if I'm really going to be brief and summarize this, uh, it's just a really handy, accessible way for you to be more creative and uh, you know, have a more dynamic website. And Thesis gives you tons of control over this. You can position um, you can position your post images and thumbnails with respect, you know, you can position them independently on each post. You have master settings in the options panels for controlling where the, these things display. Um, Thesis will auto crop your thumbnails for you if you like. You have tons of options here. And that's one of those things that's best best seen. If you just play around with it, you'll see what it does and how powerful it is. Uh, and then we've got uh, multimedia box options. Um, the multimedia box is something I haven't talked about here, but it's this little element uh, that, that currently resides over on the right. And it can rotate images at random. It can hold videos. Um, you can display code. You can display anything you want there. You can display ads. Uh, it's just it's an element that uh, you know allows you just one more way to do whatever you want. Maybe you want to put a targeted ad in there. Um, there's tutorials on the web for how to do that. You're only limited by your creativity in that space. But this is just another in-post option that Thesis adds and something you can take advantage of. And so this pretty much concludes our little whirlwind tour of thesis today. But I just want to leave you with a, a couple thoughts here. And, uh, you know, the main thing, the first thing, I guess, is that, you know, thesis is my response to problems that I saw when I did freelance design for people. Uh, and the main problem was this, this notion of value. Like, for instance, I might have charged somebody $5,000 to do a redesign of their site. And you know, I would I would do the redesign for them and deliver everything, and it would occur to me that, that that you know, in most cases, the client never even realized the true value that I was delivering to them. Uh, you know, I would get done with the project, and they would be all thrilled with the design or something like that. But yet, I would know that the code 
that I gave them that, you know, that their site was running on now was actually probably a far greater asset to their site in their future than any little graphical work that I uh, could have done for them. And so, you know, that whole value discrepancy, I guess you might call it, uh, you know, that was a really big deal to me. And, and thesis is, is one way I've been able to kind of address that and, and, you know, really head on in a way that makes a lot of sense. To me, thesis is real value because it manages your code so perfectly and, and you know, takes that out of the equation and then gives you tons of, tons of dynamic options for, um, you know, finagling your design, control elements for SEO, the order in which things display, you know, I could go on and on for days, but the bottom line is thesis gives you a really flexible future proof environment that is, is a wonderful foundation for, you know, beginning your ventures online. Like there's no better foundation you could lay for your site than to set it up on thesis today and, and get cranking that way. Cause it's a really efficient way to run your site. You know, there's tons of good information developing all the time around products like thesis and WordPress and uh, you're just going to be in really good shape if you choose to go this route. I don't know what else to say. If I were consulting for you, um, that would be what I would suggest. So for what it's worth, uh, that's what I got. All right. So uh, thanks, thanks for hanging in there and going on this tour with me today. And I hope you dig Thesis and hope to see you around the site soon. Take care.